Hello and welcome to another update video about Litecoin. Um, yeah, first of all, let's take a look at the higher degree time frame or higher level time frame. We take a look here at the chart um, since the June low, where we uh, marked a low of around $40. Since then, we've been moving up. I'm counting that as a series of one, two setups, one, two, one, two, one, two, another one, two setup. Um, we have four one, two setups now, which is getting challenging. I mean, you could make the case that the last one here was actually not a one, two setup, but actually I have already highlighted it as ABC here, um, that we had actually here with the last one, just a wave one, an A wave down, a high B wave, and this is a C wave down, but then it bottomed exactly above the 78.6 retracement. So you could possibly get away uh, or get, get rid of one, one, two setup there. Um, but either way, you have a lot, which makes the chart unreliable. However, it's of, of course tradable as long as support levels are holding. So either it's corrective or it's very, very bullish. And if it's corrective and breaks below support and my key support level here for um, focusing mainly on, or that, that would need to break to, to focus mainly on a bearish count would be $61. As long as 61 is holding, we could still make a case for higher. However, in the short term, the level that needs to hold is the swing low that was made on Monday at around $75. Because as long as that's level, that level is holding, we can focus here on an impulse in a possible third wave, yeah, $230 plus. But really that level needs to hold. That is the condition. Um, there is another micro level that needs to hold, which we talk about now. So we are on the four hour chart I'm currently counting the move of the swing low that was made on Monday as a three wave pattern, but a possible impulse that is emerging. So we have a wave one up, we have a wave two down. We talked about that yesterday. We have a three wave three to the upside, which is now approaching resistance. Um, in yesterday's video, we talked about the $90 level. This is key resistance because the previous X wave high and just previous support and resistance in general, we could possibly form here an inverse head and shoulders pattern. And there you can see how traditional patterns and Elliott wave are working together. Because if we look at this as possibly impulsive, we can identify a relevant support area that needs to hold in order to give us a fifth wave push to the upside. That level is 83.50. The reason that is the level is if we expect a five wave move to the upside, which would indicate the trend has indeed shifted to the upside in a third wave, we need five waves to confirm. At the moment, I don't have five waves. I need a healthy wave four. Mm -hmm. That wave four would most likely go into the area between the 50% and the 23.6 retracement between $83.50 and $87, which means as a minimum, I would expect price to reach that $87 level. Ideally, that's always the ideal level for a wave four. Um, we hit the $85 level. It's the 38.2 retracement. And the 50% level is sort of the maximum the wave four should do. If we break below $83.50, which is that 50% FIP level, that is a first warning that we only rallied in a three wave pattern, possibly an ABC and we're heading for new lows. Okay, so that will be a first warning on the micro level, 83.50. As long as that level is holding, I'd be looking at a fifth wave to the upside. So at the moment, due to the strength of that third wave here, I'd be looking or I expect a three wave pullback, ABC, into the support zone. And we should ideally then get five waves up off the low to break above $90. If we do that, this five wave move yeah, or this overall pattern here would form five waves. And if we do that, the fifth wave will complete a structure that can be called a wave one. We are then looking at a pullback in an ABC structure to form a wave two. If we get that fifth wave up, I can then give you support for the wave two. But first of all, we need to understand, can we get the fourth and the fifth? So with that information, you have that invalidation point or key pivot where we will have a decision between possibly new lows 
and another high in a fifth wave. Can't really give you a target for the fifth wave because again, I don't really have a fourth wave in. So if only if I have the fourth wave, I can really calculate the fifth. Um, but it should go sort of into the middle, sort of the, let's say the round about the $95 level, okay? But yeah, that's sort of Litecoin. So again, we can focus on higher as long as 8350 is holding. Um, after that fifth wave to the upside, we expect a deeper pullback, but still bullish if we get five waves up. It would just be a deeper pullback in an uptrend, and then we could be ready for a third wave. Okay, that's my update about Litecoin. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.